Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 11 of Monster Sanctuary. So in the last episode, we made it here to this house, which I'm pretty sure is a place we need to go to. Ah, what a surprise. Yes, we need warm, bring some rawhide, okay? Do we have any rawhide? Oh yeah, no, we still need to go and get the rawhide. I was, I, I thought the leather was the item we needed. No, it's the rawhide. I'm pretty sure it's underneath somewhere, right? It's around here somewhere, at least. And we have a skill resetter that can be used to reset the skills of certain creatures. I'll probably use that ability later on once we actually, you know, have a creature or a monster leveled up. I always say creature. Ah, oh, balls. Uh, uh, there we go. And we have the scroll. Ugh. Oh, yeah, no, I, I didn't think you could technically make that back. It's probably the items that we have on our guys that aren't very good. But, whatever. Anyways, let's go down this hole over here. We also haven't found the teleporter here yet. And uh, tarp blobs. I'm fine with fighting these guys. But anyways, let's set up our buff. And then we will go for the whirlwind on the middle enemy. And, oh my god. We now do so much damage with that attack. That just, like, immediately kills that guy. Ugh. That attack is so annoying. Huh. Oh, if we had the if we had bleed on him, we might have been able to actually deal with him. Fire our claws. There we go. Wait, did it actually kill my goblin? It legitimately killed my goblin. That's so mean. You vile fiend. Alright, looks like if we do the electric on, I believe you're part electric, right? No, you're ice. Do we have electric? Never mind, we actually don't have electric. My bad. Okay, don't want to fall down the hole. There's an item over here first. Wool. That's not the type of warm, en uh, warm enemy. Warm item we need to survive the cold here. Can you not do that game? Seriously? Ugh. Let's go this way. Hopefully the hide we're looking for is around here somewhere. Oh. Wait, what's the what's the point of this? Oh. It's a helmet. Oh, and another item. Level badge. Those are always useful, especially when we get a new creature, because they're usually two levels below your highest one. Ooh, that's a good mix of creatures. And we'll do that. I guess just do that, I guess. I don't really even know. Alright, Ice Claws. Whirlwind. Long Slash. Wait, that's actually super effective against them. I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Finish you off. Deal some damage to you. Hopefully finish you off good. Jeez Louise, man. That attack is getting brutal. There we go, we defeated them. Aha, we got the Marcus Egg. Which will allow us to ride around on its back, giving us some speed to travel, which is actually needed to get to the volcano part of the game that we had seen earlier. Alright. Um, can't go up there yet. We can if we put something here. So if we put, say, this, and then do this. Pretty sure this opens this up, right? Yeah, so we're good now. That'll forever be open. Uh, clearly there's something right here. Like, that's not even hiding it. Combo potion. Those are actually really good because those build up your combos, so you do more damage while also healing up. Water. I think we could use the grummy for the- Oh, there's the hide. Oh, come on, game. Really? 
<laughs> Aha, we got the item. It's a wizard hat. Oh, uh, yeah. We'd made it. I'm pretty sure we're close to the, um. What's it called? The teleporter, right? Oh, that's a cliff. Never mind. I guess we'll go back down here, maybe? Are you kidding me, game? Ugh. Ooh. There we go. I don't know why that was so difficult, but whatever. Oh, wait, no, that's water that we can't go into. We touched that somehow and survived, but... Yeah, we need to go back up here to go and get our pajamas, because apparently pajamas are what allow you to travel through cold water. It makes no sense, but it's what it is, I guess. So, anyways, let's go up here. We'll go in here. Go and grab whatever's in this. Or whatever's in this, we know what it is. There we go. Now we can get our uh, armor. Or pajamas. Why do I keep saying armor? And now, now we can go back to that water that we had seen down here. And we can go for a swim. A nice ice cold dip in the pond, I guess. Uh, I'm falling. Free falling. No. And see, we're perfectly fine now. An orb three. That's a pretty decent item to find right away. Wait a minute, what is going on here? Wait a second, I know exactly what we can do. We're going to hatch the Nightwing. And I don't think we're going to name it, whatever. But, if we go here... We can now see... Alright, so it looks like we're going to need our dragon here. Aha! And then we get a carrot and claws. Not really the best item, I'd say, but... Uh, uh. And there we go, we're back. Apparently this was not where we needed to go, this was just for some extra items, and not even really, like, that useful stuff. Which is kinda sad, actually. Oh my god, I forgot there were spikes there. I was too busy, like, looking up at the mini-map on the top right, and was like, what am I doing? Let's see, where are we going? Aha! Uh -huh. All this for a belt. I'm not saying a belt's a bad item, but it was all for a belt. Hey, another item. A hazelnut. Um, why is there an Azurak down here? Why are there bats down here? What is going on down here? What kind of evil sinister plot are those bats and weird wizard creatures doing? Well, let's go this way. Azurax. I don't really feel like fighting you. At least the music here is kind of... I don't know. It's just interesting music, you know? Guess we can go into this cave. And hopefully, if I see that. A verdant gem again. What's with the verdant gems? Like, specifically verdant, not any other color. Oh, I see. Oh, this is the Sun Palace. This is another new zone that we're not going to get into just yet. That might be, like, next episode, because that is also a very story-intensive spot. Like, I don't mean, like, there's going to be a lot of dialogue or anything. I mean, like, it plays a very, very, very important role in the story of this game. Despite this game not actually having that many story moments, there is, like, lots of small story moments throughout the game that, you know, make it worth listening to and playing. Like, I'm not saying the game's story's bad. It's not bad in the slightest. It's just, like, for example, right here, all we're doing is just, you know... Ah, poop. It's not at all what I meant to do. Hit you. 
whirlwind you, and then this should finish you off. As long as this thing doesn't go for the stupid blinding attack. On our strongest one, too. Of course it did, right? It's just a pain in the butt. Can you stop with the blinding of us? Oh, well, it'll die here in a second, so... Hopefully we get an Azurak egg next. The game does not want to give us an Azurak egg in the slightest. Anyways, there's our teleporter, so he'll talk to us about going into the water, but as long as we have pajamas, we're going to be perfectly fine. can't believe I didn't make that. Ugh. We made that, though. We don't have a tar blob yet, do we? Uh... Go for the guy in the middle for the first little bit here. Finish him off. Somehow burn that guy. Well, I know how we burned him. It's just, like, why is the question? Like, why it chose to burn him instead of literally anyone else? I mean, that's just to heal them. Wow, that guy did a lot. Like, holy cow, man. Just heal yourself. Don't attack my turn. Okay. We almost lost him, but not quite, so that's good. There we go. Ah, we got the tar blob egg. Excellent. And we also have another skill point on our goblin here. What's this do? Ooh, every attack now hits for an extra attack that deals 50%. Shift stone. We can't use that yet. But it's a very useful item that we'll see later on. And... Is this one of those blocks that we can move? Yeah, I believe... Um... Levitates... Ah, you. You need a creature that has the tackle ability, essentially. And it'll move these blocks over here so you can grab items, like... Bronze. Great, that's not at all what I was expecting that item to be. Ah, yeah. Well, we're keep traveling through this cold water and ooh, this is different. The music changed. I see you. I am the oracle of this place, and I will kill you in a miserable bout of wits. I don't actually know, but still. Ready? Oh yeah, we it's an Aurum Tail. Okay, so we'll use Quicken. And it looks like you're weak to f just physical in general, so that'll be good for this guy. Thing is, Aurum Tail is definitely one of the weaker creatures in this game. Like, it's a ride creature, and you would normally find it in this zone anyway, but... Okay, so... We're going to use him, because he's not a physical attacker. That way we can set up these guys to do even more damage. Now look at how little damage this thing's doing. It's like barely touching us, and normally the creatures around here have been doing a ton of damage to us, but these guys not so much. Or this guy not so much. And there we go. We five-starred it, which means we get its egg guaranteed. By the way, if you five-star um, a champion monster, you're guaranteed to get its egg. Oh yeah, those level ups were good. Ah, we got a Sanctuary token, nice. The next one's in the Sun Palace, so I guess we're going to the Sun Palace next. But, before we do that, we got some level ups. What's this? Sidekick support, healing, shielding, buffering. Ooh yeah, that's all. That's useful. Our buff will become stronger. And as for you, you really don't have anything that I particularly care about, so I guess we'll give you the regeneration buff. Karat. And actually, I keep forgetting to do this, but we want to switch you with you. It would make way more sense. Also, why did you bring out that stupid guy? I know he's part of the story, but his ability just isn't useful to us right now. Is it this button? Yeah, this button's map. So we need to go to the Sun Palace, right? That's what it was called, the Sun Palace? Aw, oh, these weaklings dare challenge us? The god of monster fighting? Huh. 
Oh man. Like those bats are so weak that they're they don't even really do anything. Like are we just over leveled now? No, we're not over leveled. We're just strong now. Oh wait, an ice orb. Um no, we don't have ice. Never mind. Because I don't think that's water, is it? Because if it's water, then we can use... Um, where is he? Wait, no, you're ice. Psh, I don't know what I'm going on about. Also, this guy does the exact same effect despite not actually flying in the air. Kind of cool, right? Hip, hip, hopping, hippity, hip, hopping. Oh, it's the down one, right? Yeah, we need to go to this down area. Whoops. Not the end of the world, but we'll activate the regeneration buff, and then we'll activate the quicken buff. And now we're super strong. Oh, we missed. All right, we'll remove his buffs immediately. And we'll just do this. Every single attack missed on the stupid Azerac. God, these friggin' debuffs are annoying. Thank you for dying. That heal ability that they're using, though, is, like, really, really weak, and I don't know why. Like, it just... I feel like it just doesn't do anything, you know? Like, not us. The, the other creature. But yeah. Well, it's darn Azurax and... There we go, we got the Azurax egg. Alright, now we've ha we have, I think, every egg of every creature we've seen here. I think? I believe so. Anyways, let's go down. We can avoid the water now, luckily. And now we can go here to the Sun Palace. The caretaker. I also apologize if you can hear my controller click all the time. I don't know what is with the Xbox controller. Like when I play on my Switch, for example, the controller isn't as loud, but this one likes to make, like, it sounds like it sticks up. Oh, hey, these are Kurins, right? Or Killins. Kylins? Not entirely sure what these guys are technically. Wow, they are resistant to physical. No, never mind. They're not resistant to just physical. They're resistant to, like, every type we have on our team. Alright, we'll do that. I guess attack you and end your life. Need my drink again. It's a mile away. I've been recording for quite some time now, so apologies. Oh, you oh man, I didn't mean to use that one. I'm an idiot. I was like, oh, this one always does more. Despite not actually doing more to these creatures in particular. Okay, you're dead next turn, so it doesn't really matter. And then we'll give the buff to everybody. They don't really seem to do too much damage, though, that's for sure. And there we go. Alright, another treasure chest, an azure gem. Wait, is that a king blob? King Blobs, those are like... Those would be really good to have on our team. Oh, I guess we'll attack one of the King Blobs. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. There we go. The fact that we have to use all our special attacks on them is annoying instead. Like, he's shielding up that one. He's doing some weird bubble attack. Ow. Okay, you're not really doing anything, so we'll use the combo potion. And then we'll chilling wind. And I guess we'll just finish off this blob. King Blob will allow us to transform into a small ball. Or, I guess in this case, a blob. So it's like super useful. Ugh. Hopefully... Alright, good. 
he didn't use any kind of shield ability this time. And there goes the blob. Now we can just gun down this thing. There, we got a burn. Nice. And let's just mow it down. Excellent. Sadly, we didn't unlock a King Blob, but hopefully we can find a King Blob that isn't... Like, with a creature that particularly resists all of our attacks. Oh, there's, um... I forgot those little cat guys are called, but they're another dragon type. And technically it's used by this guy. Monster bells, yes, those cause enemies to respawn, we already know that. We're just specifically looking for the teleporter. There we go, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon links below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye